Ed, tomorrow the retail sales figures are out. Sales expected to jump 0.4%. 0.4%, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when Aussies are spending about $35 billion a month, 0.4% does actually make a difference. So we saw spending drop quite a bit in December, but it's slowly recovering. So these figures are for the month of February. They go hand in hand with the, the inflation numbers. We have, you know, more people spending money in retail, it pushes up inflation. They go together. So we kind of want to see retail sales spending be muted to bring down inflation, and we're probably not going to get that tomorrow. So mm -hmm. some pretty big figures coming up for the Bureau of Statistics this week, which are going to have implications for the RBA's next board meeting, uh, which isn't until the end of, oh, sorry, the start of May, six weeks away. OK, Ed, uh, the stock market closing for the Easter holidays. That means the last trading day of the quarter is tomorrow. So could we see, and how does history work here? Are there big shifts yeah. in prices, <laughs> big movements? How does it go? Look, it's a kind of a weird one. Sometimes you see some big share price fluctuations on the last day of the quarter because there are big institutions that want to rebalance their equity portfolio. So it might involve selling a whole bunch of shares in the infrastructure sector and buying a lot of shares in the banking or finance sector, for example. So sometimes you see some big shifts in prices. The other thing at the same time, Pete, is the ASX 200 is about 20 points off its all-time high. So we could see it go through that point today or potentially Ooh. the tomorrow. So we could see another big record for the ASX to finish off this week and cap off the end of Q1. We shall see. Edward Boyd, good to see you as always.